Good morning, good afternoon, and good good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. Uh, I really appreciate your feedback, and uh, I hope you're finding these videos on Azure useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's session, I'm here to talk about global VNet pairing. So, if you've been following uh, in the last video, I showed you how you can do VNet pairing within one region. Uh, this is just a follow up to that video in which we'll be configuring uh, VNet pairing between two different region. And uh, this is the layout of the infra that I have uh, already created within the environment. So we'll be creating a global VNet pairing between Canada Central and uh, the US East region. And I have uh, two VMs, one with the name VM Central in Canada Central and the other one is VM East and they are in VNet 10.0.0 slash 16 and 10.1.0.0 uh, slash 16. And uh, what we're going to try to achieve today is we'll be see if we're able to configure this uh, global VNet pairing. Right. So that's 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 the uh, uh, objective today. So I have already deployed, as I said, these VMs, the VNet are configured and everything. So in today's session, what we'll do is that we'll, we'll deploy the virtual network gateway in both these location and we'll try to establish the connection in order to have uh, both these machine talk to each other. So let me just go and show you on my uh, Azure portal. So as I said, I have two VM. VM Central is in Canada Central and the VM East is in East US and they are in, in the running state. And if I show you my virtual network, it is Central VNet and uh, East VNet right and uh, you can see the information the address space is 10.04 uh, for the uh, canada region and uh, for the east is 10.1.0.0 slash 16. here we go okay so also want to show you before we start configuring is that uh, there is no connectivity so if i go and uh, on the machine this is the central, so this is the Canadian machine that I have. So if I try to ping, to the IP of a machine in US, I should not be able to, right? So it's 10.1.0.4 and you'll see that uh, the request is timed out. So it means that right now there is no connectivity, but once we establish the connection, uh, we should be able to uh, see that uh, we are able to send the packets. So let's do this. Well, let me just do continuous ping on this and, uh, and just to show you again on the US side, this is the uh, East US machine. And if I try to ping this, I should not be able to reach. Okay, so, so far so good. So let's go to the portal and let's configure the virtual network gateway. So let me just close. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go to virtual network gateway. If you don't see this, you can do a quick search, the global search for virtual network gateway and it will take you to that location. So let's go and uh, click add. And let's start by giving the name. So first what we'll do is that uh, we'll do it for the Canadian region, which is Central. So let me go and pick Canada Central. Let's give the name. We'll name it Central Virtual Network Gateway. Keep it simple. The gateway type is VPN or Express Route. There are two options but we'll pick a VPN connectivity and under the VPN type, I'll use a route based. And under this, you, you have four options, basic, GW1, two, and three. Basically, these are the different bandwidth that you can achieve. I'll leave that to the default GW1, but you can choose it according to your requirement. And under the virtual network, I'll pick the one which is for this region, which is central VNet. And we'll give the name for the public IP. 
I'll name it central public IP address and rest everything you can leave to the default and let's go review and hit the create button okay so so far we have uh, now uh, deployed the virtual network gateway for our Canadian region and what we'll do is we'll create another one for the US region so same way go to virtual network gateway give the name I'm gonna name it East virtual network gateway the region is in East US gateway and VPN type same way will leave to the default and under the virtual network will pick the East VNet let's give the name and let's go and hit review and create the deployment is underway so I can go and close this and if I go under the virtual network gateway you will see that uh, that has appeared over here and it is it is updating so this process will take on an average uh, 30 minutes so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and once this deployment is successful I'll uh, switch back hello guys welcome back so as you can see that the deployment has succeeded it took on an average uh, 22 to 23 minutes so it's taking some time for you when you're doing this uh, it is it is pretty normal so let me just close this notification so just to go back on my drawing so what we have done so far is we have uh, created the gateway so we have created the central and the east uh, gateway and uh, just to check so far there is no uh, communication happening because we have not established the connection between these two uh, uh, networks so let's go to our central virtual network gateway and in the settings you'll see that you have the option of connection so I'm going to expand this and go to add and let's give this name I'm just going to name it central connection type we'll leave it vnet vnet because we are configuring global vnet pairing the first virtual network is the one that I am in which is central virtual network gateway and the second will be the east one because that is what we want to connect to so let me just expand and pick east and you need to give a shared key so I'm gonna name it uh, IT simplified 101 and resource group is central RG you just hit and click OK so that we did for the central to east and then now we'll configure from east to central so I can close this go to my virtual network gateway expand the east virtual network gateway go to connections under settings go and hit add let's name this east and in the second virtual network I will pick central and you have to give the same shared key so it was ITS 101 and click on OK I'm just gonna bring my these to virtual machine just to make sure once the connection is successful we should see that uh, we're able to ping each other okay so status is still showing unknown let me just bring at least one of the virtual machine up and you can see that uh, the connection is established and we're able to reach same thing for the second virtual machine right so with this we have uh, successfully configured our global virtual uh, vnet pairing so we have uh, peered region which are separate from each other in our case we have used Canada Central and US East but uh, if you want to do you can pick any of these region because uh, this is available in 
uh, all the regions within Azure infrastructure. I hope you found this video on global VNet pairing. Uh, so you'd really like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.